Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we will be talking about the latest updates around Android 13. Now this is the beta version of Android 13, and this is actually the third beta that's been pushed out, and this is the second update of that third beta. So we'll just simply call this one Android 13 Beta 3.2. So let's go through everything that's brand new with this update. Now there was an update right before this about nine days ago. I didn't shoot the video because nothing has changed other than the stability for developers. So that one came out for the stability of developers who are creating applications that are now available to work on Android 13. And now this one did actually bring a few different changes and I have six of them written down. So originally let's talk about this Android 13 little Easter egg right here. So everybody knows that you put this at 12 o'clock and it's going to show Android 12. Well, here you can see that it's Android now 13 without the number one here because this is not a complete version. This is basically almost halfway done. We're going to have another update here coming up in July and then probably the full release in August. And then for anybody who is here from the Samsung side of things, and obviously, you know, whenever Android 13 comes out, then we'll also have Samsung One UI built on top of that. So right now you can see we are almost done with Android 13 right before this update. This was saying the number 12. So going on to the first change, other than that little Android 13 Easter egg that's half done, is we're going to go right inside of this page here. So this is going to be your application launcher here or your application tray. And on the very top is going to be a pixel search. Now, a part of this pixel search earlier, you'd be able to actually have this keyboard always show. And you can actually see that now you have this option showing right here. And it says always show keyboard. So you can actually hit on yes. So now what that does is every time that you open up your application tray, it'll just go simply to the search on the very top for your pixel search you can type something in find an application really quick if you find yourself really not using this or maybe you didn't really see that pop up the first time that you see this you'd be able to tap on that little search hit those three dots go to preferences and this is that toggle that was just added always show the keyboard so now if you turn it off you're going to simply go inside of your application tray without the keyboard pop it up right away for a search if you want to open up applications but if you do find it to be helpful you can now go inside preferences turn on the always show keyboard and so now every single time you go back inside of there you can type an application to find quick or you can search something on your phone or aka also google now the next update will be the most up-to-date latest version of google lens icon so this google lens is just a way that you're able to use your camera or take a look at your gallery and it'll be able to find results based off of your image or your camera. So you can take a picture of something and through a Google search, you'd be able to find it. Now, kind of what it used to look like back in the past was these little four corners. You know, it's empty in the middle on all four sides. It looked a little like this. If you take a look at your pixel, you're going to see it looking like a unfinished square. This one just now looks like a full complete camera. Now this next change is one that took a pretty big overhaul change and that is the Pixel Tips application. So Pixel Tips is a application that's pre-downloaded on your phone. It's a way to help you learn more about your Pixel. Now through here, you're gonna see a, a little icon on the top. You're gonna see a couple more tabs right here or categories with a little image. And then you're gonna see this area here. Now what it used to look like before is if I was to cover this up, this was basically the page that it looked like. So it's almost as if they just kind of added in and moved around and arranged a couple different categories up here. So you have the essentials, you have navigation, smart features and tools, and then you have other things that's kind of broken down. You can learn about personal safety, digital well-being, some pro tips, and each side or a different you know, uh, category will let you know how many tips is inside of that little category. So there's 10 tips right up here for tools. If you go up inside of the essentials, there's 11 tips. You have six for personal safety, uh, you have nine for chat and share and things like that. So yeah, Pixel Tips did get a pretty good update. This next change will be dealing with if you were to take a screenshot or if you do a copy and paste. So basically anything with the clipboard. If we go inside of the keep notes and let's just say that we say, hey, uh, and then through here, let's say that we wanted to copy and paste and send this to somebody. So if you do copy, you're gonna see this little icon here. So if you hit on, hey, this will allow you to make changes through here. So if somebody sent you maybe a address, but they forgot to put in the state and zip code and you knew what it was, you already had everything there. And then now you can just add in everything Thing that you need to do. So now let's just say that I wanted to, you know, add in, make this a little bit longer, and this is really what I want to send off. You can hit on done. And then through here, you can now see what it says. And then now you can hit on share. So through here, you're able to share it off. And it's pretty much the same thing if you're to do a screenshot. So let's say that we open this up or we just get out of there. Let's do a little screenshot here. Uh, so this is where you have the share button and edit. So you're not going to edit right away. 
But once you have everything done, you can hit on save and save it to the phone, and then you can also share it from there. So let's say that we go on back to take a look at what you would do if you didn't want to make any changes, you just hit on the share button, and then now you have your share, you can pull it up, and then you have more areas that you're able to share it as well. So basically all the clipboard, all of the sharing, all of the changes, uh, basically dealing with anything with clipboard, text, or image is gonna be done with this little pop-up on the left-hand side on the very bottom. And then lastly, I don't know if this is something that I didn't notice before, or maybe it's a part of this little update here, but I noticed that the, the dialing pad is kind of maybe a facelift. It looks a little bit more bold, a little bit more square-ish. Uh, you can start typing some things out and then everything will pop up. I don't wanna type any more numbers. I don't wanna give out any of my contacts numbers and things like that, but it does look really good. I think it looks more bold, more square-ish when you are using that phone dialer. So this is pretty much everything that's been brand new with this latest update. Again, I'm calling this one Android 13 Beta 3.2. And so if you guys do appreciate this video, uh, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe in the very bottom left hand side and if you appreciate this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later